All right, what do you do with the mail once you get it from the mailbox? If you're like me, or uh, uh, a lot of people apparently, it just sits on your kitchen table forever. Mm -hmm. Molly <laughs> live in Roseville here where she's getting some tips on how to organize all those letters and that junk and stuff that we get in the mail. Hi. Yep, that's right. I mean, to quote Steve from Blue's Clues, here's the mail. It never fails. It comes day <laughs> after day. And John, I'm like you. It comes in and I just, I do let it sit and it drives my husband crazy. So he's very glad that I am talking with Trista this morning. Organizing expert tidy with Trista. Uh, you have uh, three tips to share with us for mail. Uh, but first, kind of an overall idea of bringing things into our homes. <laughs> yes, so clutter starts when something doesn't have a home. So we call it a home in your home. So anytime you're going to go out and get like a small appliance or, you know, sheets, decor items or mail, make sure you know where it's going to go in your home. That way it doesn't accumulate clutter. I like to say things are like a cat. If it fits, it sits, right? So if it's, <laughs> there's an open spot on the countertop, something's going to go there yeah. or an entryway table. If if it doesn't have a spot already so make sure you know where something's going before you bring it in okay okay so with mail and I'm gonna get pushback for this but our first tip is when you bring the mail in the house you open the mail so um, and I'm not saying to address any of the action items I'm not you know we'll get pushed back I don't have time to file this I don't have time to pay this bill or respond to this letter we're not talking about doing that it's simply opening the mail figuring out what is the junk which is most of it right and then what are the action items that we need to address um, so we think about it in terms of like how we teach our kids with their toys we play with the toys we clean up our toys and that's one action so we bring in the mail, we open the mail, and that's one action. So even as adults, we have to retrain our brains to think that way. Don't do one without the other. Yeah. Okay, this, um, that is a phone. That is a that's, phone. Yeah. Yes, it's my nice visual. <laughs> <laughs> um, because nowadays, so many things can be online. So if you can, go digital. So um, bank statements, car loans, even utility bills. When I see stacks of those in my clients' homes, I'm like, we need to sign up for that you know, e-paper or paperless billing. Um, because it's really gonna help eliminate the visual or like the physical clutter that comes in the home. And if you're the type of person like, oh, I just need to like have the physical, I need to check on you know, whatever it is, set a reminder in your phone, make an appointment in your calendar for yourself, set a reminder, have it recurring however often you need, that way you can still check it. And then everything comes via email anyway. Right. So. Yeah, and for me, you know, I'm much more reminded by an alert or an unread message in my phone than I am a piece of paper. And then we have this. Yes, so now we can address the need to file, need to pay, need to respond to items. So we love using a mini file bin for all of those interim. So I recommend keeping this wherever you check your mail. So we check our mail right above the trash can in the kitchen because that's where most of it goes. Um, so this is, lives in our kitchen and you can make it cute, Dude, right? This smart. one's from Target. Um, I have a to do file and you can change them however it makes sense for you. So anything that needs action from me, we need to RSVP to a birthday invite we need to, you know, pay DMV registration. Um, that's all going to go in here. And then also um, each family member has their own tab if they have something that we need to reference for them. And then we have a to file bin. So this one is huge for anything you get that is tax related you need to keep, medical files, anything that you need to file, but you don't have time to go like our files upstairs in the office and figure out where it goes. So this is the interim that you can keep and then you can set your frequency for whenever you wanna do it. So weekly, every week, every month, go take it and put it where it needs to go. Trista, I love your tips always because uh, they're things that I feel like I actually can do. If people want more organizing tips, where do they need to go? Yeah, you can follow us on Instagram at Tidy with Trista, and then if you need help organizing, tidywithtrista.com. John, there may just be hope for us. I, I, was, so, I was thinking, I need to, we have a shredder that we have to use. I should move it downstairs mm -hmm. next to the kitchen because yeah. what ends up happening is it sits on the kitchen table and then it sits on the stairs to be taken upstairs, and then about six weeks later, it gets shredded. Mm -hmm. Because if it fits, it sits. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. Appreciate it. Thanks.